Welcome to my channel. I've received quite a few messages regarding my legend media system in my Volvo XC90 P2. So I thought I'd make a little video just explaining not about the um, how the legend works because there are other videos on the internet that show that. But I want just to show you how mine has been wired in by my installer, a very good friend of mine who that did the install on my particular legend which makes it potentially a little bit different from how other legends have been set up so the first thing is I have a button here and that button will take me into my front camera view and it will stay in that view until I press the button again to take it out of that mode so that that's nice because um, it means I've got complete control of my front camera and the camera I went for was one that sits um, it's, a, it's um, a camera that sits within the Volvo logo in my front grille so from the outside of the car it's very difficult to even see if there's a camera there and I'll place a link to the camera in the, the comments below it's um, from memory it's it's under 20 pounds uh, under $20 in the, in the USA so quite a cheap camera to buy um, so that's the front camera now I'm currently in park if I put the car into reverse as you'd expect the rear camera appears okay now if I put the car uh, that, sorry the gearbox back into park again the front camera appears automatically because of how it's been wired in. And then if I put the, um, there you go, it's gone back to the normal view after a few seconds, which is great. If I put the car into drive, the front camera automatically appears and it will stay like that for, I think it's about 10 seconds. There you go, and it's gone back into normal view. So it just assists me as I'm pulling out of a car parking space or something like that, it automatically goes on. And that's a nice little feature. It was my installer's idea to set things up like that, and I really like it. Um, some of you have also asked me what this is here, and this is a Spigen um, um, magnetic mount and charger for my Apple iPhone and it is um it looks like that and it is absolutely solid there it's wired into the cigarette lighter in the back um behind the center console and um it uses a usb-c uh, charger and it's fully you can see within number of hinges on here it's fully adjustable to any angle and obviously I can't show you now because I'm recording on my iPhone, but my iPhone would just literally just rest on that. It will not come off, even going over um, large bumps, speed humps, etc. The iPhone is solid on there, and yet it very easily detaches magnetically. It's, a, it's an amazing bit of kit. This is about, in the UK, it's about 50 pounds off Amazon. And I'll put a link to that as well. Um, I'm not sure if it works with Android phones or not. I think this is specific to the iPhone, but Spygen make other really good mounts. I'm sure they do have something similar for Android phones if you'd like to get one of those. So there you go. That is um, a little exp explanation to um, some of the features in my in my legend and how it's been set up by, by my installer. I hope this gives somebody some ideas when they're buying their legend and having theirs installed as well. Thank you very much for um, for watching and um, I'll see you again soon. And please do subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos like this that hopefully will help other people who have Volvo XC90s. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.